It was difficult to abandon the sea altogether until the land became green. But eventually, it did. Simple plants, algae and then mosses and liverworts, began to advance over the mud and rock to clothe the earth. And into these first green tackles came animals looking for food. Some had armor, for that in the sea had protected them from their enemies. Now it would help them conserve moisture. They were the ancestors of today's millipedes. Small holes had developed along the underside of their bodies that led to internal tubes with which they could absorb oxygen from the air. Their rigid, jointed legs, however, were largely unchanged and worked very well on land, even without the support of water. Battering ram heads enabled them to bulldoze their way through the vegetation to collect the rotting plants on which they fed. They grew big, increasing the number of segments in their bodies. Some had over 300, each with two pairs of legs. Some that didn't curl up reinforced their armor with plates along their backs. Crustaceans like shrimps came too. They were the ancestors of wood lice. So today, there is a huge and varied population of animals living on the land with bodies that are little different from those of their ancestors who lived in the sea so long ago. <laughs>